Cool. So the first thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to search for Golang, and because it's called Golang, and we'll go to the Golang Playground. So just search Golang Playground, and then come here. And so this is where we could write some code and just run it without having to install anything on our system. We could start to play around with the language. I figured, you know, let's use this to learn the fundamentals of language. This will have one of the gotchas here is there's no code completion, there's no syntax checking or anything like that. So we're going to uh, occasionally make typos. Our code's not going to work because we'll have a misspelling, you know, uh, or something like that. And so the other resource I want to also reference is Go by Example. So you could just go to Go by Example and search for that. And it's called Go Lang off, which the often the Go programming language. And so here's Go by Example. And you could go to Go by Example, and it just has examples of all kinds of you know different things you could do: variables, constants, for, if, else, switch, array, slices, maps. So we're just going to go through these things and learn about variables, and we're going to learn. We'll look at constants, and we'll look at you know some control flow, and talk about what control flow is. And then we'll look at some data structures and range, which is another loop thing, and functions and multiple return values, and and uh, and so we'll just basically look at this stuff right here, and then also structs, right, and maybe interfaces. We'll talk about that. So that's just to learn the basics of the language. So the first thing I want to do is just kind of like play around with uh, variables, and so to create a variable in Go, when you're inside of a function, right, it's just x colon equals and then whatever. So I could have it be 42, or I could have y colon equals 47, 49ers, whatever. And I could do print, print line x, and I could also do print line y. And then I could come up here and I want to make sure imports are on because if I have something that needs to be imported, a package, so here I'm using the fumpt package and that's the way you say it, right? Then it'll automatically bring in my imports if I have this checked when I hit format. So if I didn't have any imports there and I hit format, it brings those in, right? If that check wasn't on and I hit format, it didn't bring it in, but with that check, it brought in my packages. And so packages are where you store other pieces of code, right? I've got a fumpt package, and in that fumpt package, I've got print line, and print line is going to print something to some output, some output, standard out, traditional output. And uh, I'm just going to bring this up so we can see the results in one window. And then I hit run, and it prints out 42 and 49ers. So I just want you, and you know, so that's uh, that's uh, the first part. So I want you to declare some variables, colon equal. You can only use colon equal inside of a func, a function. So that's how you declare a function, func main, right? I just want you to declare two variables and print them out. So that's your first exercise. And, uh, and when you're done, you'll click the share link. You'll click the share link. You'll get this URL. You'll copy it. Because then you could you could take that URL and you could give it to somebody, and they go straight to that code you wrote. So once you've written your code, click share, get the URL, and then come over to Blackboard and paste in that URL to show me, hey, I wrote that little program. And I'm going to under assignments, you know, create an assignment, declare a variable. So we're just going to write code. You're going to paste in your link to the code, and that'll be your assignment. And then we'll just keep writing more code, pasting it in, showing me you did it. That'll be your assignment. So the first one is just to declare a variable. And uh, I guess I need to leave that up while you do it. So do that now.